there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another car video. Many are outside of the game. And I mean the game of man gets woman. If you don't like those semantics, it's still the point of man gets woman. I mean, because that's, I mean, because the thing is, a lot of guys, they comment on stuff and, you know, how women are supposedly going to react and stuff, but they not in the game. You know, a lot of guys, they might be had, they might be good if they get, they've had a kiss before in their life, let alone sex. But then they try to push themselves off to, as experts in the game. That's not the case. Only way somebody going to really know the game is to be in it, to constantly have played it, you know, because me personally, I wouldn't take advice from anybody who don't seem like they've at least had sex before, like with multiple different women, personally, seriously. Seriously, you know, and but you get some people and they'll talk, they experts. But if you say, well, how many like dimes have you been with? You know, no. how many have you known personally? Not, not somebody you've seen on TV. How many have you known? No. Then how would you know what it would take to get them or women, period? You know, you lucked up, had pity sex from two women in your life. And, you know, you think you can tell somebody what to do. No, nah, it don't work like that. Let me use an analogy. Basketball. Yeah, college basketball. See, I ain't big into pro basketball, but I'm a big into college basketball, right? And one of the things I've seen, there's a difference between a basketball fan and someone who's actually played the game. There's a huge difference, right? Oh, wait, got to press the brake. There's a huge difference. It's incredible, right? And because, you know, you see a basketball fan, right? They'll talk about the game and all they all they really know, honestly. At best, they know who can score. At best, they know who can score, who maybe, you know, they can they know the surface at best. Like who will block a shot, somebody getting rebounds. They'll know that. Even if they one of those fans who follow every little thing. But the thing is, they don't know the little nuances of the game, little small spots. And I'm going to tell you what, I never played formally on a basketball team, but in college and postgraduate school, I was hanging out with the jocks, the athletes, the uh, basketball players and stuff. Even would play pickup sometimes with the uh, D1 college players at uh, my postgraduate school, right? And, and indeed, from my college, St. Joseph's, there's three people now. One is one uh, head coach and two assistant coaches that I used to hang out with because I used to hang out with the ball team. In fact, somebody who would later get drafted by the New York Knicks, late rounds, he didn't make it, used to cut my hair. And... And I don't think they mind if I drop their names. Uh, one of the head, one of the head coaches is uh, at Ryder, Kevin Baggett. He went to St. Joe's. Jeffrey Arnold is an assistant coach, St. Joe's. And then um, University of Kentucky, one of the assistant coaches, Bruiser Flint. And he had actually been a, a head coach at a couple schools, right? And just being around them and then some players at American, you start seeing the way they talked about the game and the way a fan talked about the game were two different ways, two entirely different ways because the fans is, they just looked at pretty much who scored. They didn't look at stuff like moving without the ball, uh, making cuts to the basket, a lot of little things, right? Because you listen to some fans and they'll be like, why he on the floor? He don't really score that much. He don't score that much. Yeah, they don't see, like, this dude setting picks, diving for loose balls, playing defense, you know, make, uh, creating a space, just making, like, the right plays, you know. They might not see that whoever that person's guarding doesn't score that much. You know, a lot of times they don't see that. But it's the same thing in the game of uh, man gets woman. A lot of guys comment on stuff, but they don't really know it. Like, they might see the outside of it, right? Say they go to a club, right, or somewhere out, and they see some guy that they consider handsome with a woman. And they'll think, oh, it must be because he's handsome. That's outside the game. They don't know exactly what this dude did to really get that woman. 
Because, yeah, they see that he's handsome, but to the woman, this is a guy, well, one, the obvious thing is he might have turned her out in the bedroom. That's the obvious thing, but uh, a bigger thing is they might have just clicked. They might have just clicked personality-wise. Like, you got some guys say, oh, personality don't matter. Yeah, it matters because what people going to do, sit around and they got to click personality-wise. What they going to do, just sit there and look at each other? And see, a lot of times a woman, she'd be like, well, he all right, but, you know, he made me laugh. He do all this. In fact, if you actually, if some of these guys would actually talk to women, women would say, yeah, him being cute got me over there, but then the dude was funny. Or the dude was bold or whatever they were looking for in a man's personality. Right? Or the man might have did something seductive. He could have did anything, no telling what it was. But that's how it is. It's a bunch of little things you don't see. You know? Or some people think it's money, but you know, dude could be broke. You don't know for sure. Do you send do you see him spending money on him? You know, they might be someplace where just walking. You don't know what the deal was. Hell, she might have paid for him. But that's my point, though. Unless you're in that world, you don't really understand. And the thing is, you get people who ain't in that world try to tell you something. Because I remember a couple times, uh, like, oh, both at St. Joe's in America, and I would hear some fan who never played any sport try to tell these players what they should be doing. And they just look at them like, man, you ain't out there. You don't know what's going on. Right? Shit, I've had that happen. I mentioned that before. I play uh like just rec league football. I get somebody who ain't getting no playing time trying to tell me how to play my position. I'm like, I'm out here and you not. I know what exactly what to do. Apparently better than uh you do since I'm the one playing. But that's my whole point on it. See, a lot of times if guys don't know, the thing they need to do is seriously either ask serious questions or better yet just pay attention see the little things like when i'm watching basketball right or football i'm looking at a lot of little things i like it because like say you're watching football it's football season now uh, college and pro football season a lot of times somebody might see somebody get burned on the pass right and think oh he suck he got burned but you didn't see the other plays that happened you didn't see he got picked off or anything, because the camera zone can only stay on so much anyway. But there's a lot of little things that happen. A lot of little things that happen. Or, like, say a quarterback is running towards the line of scrimmage. And, you know, they play in a zone. The cornerback runs up on him, right? And then the quarterback just pop it over his head. Now, somebody will say, well, the quarterback should have stayed home. Well, the quarterback would the cornerback should have stayed home. But, no, that's a fan who don't know the game. The quarterback would have, could have got about 10 yards. That's a first down and maybe more depending on where they at, right? What, should, what the real issue was, the quarterback was in the right. When he saw the quarterback coming up to the uh, line of scrimmage, he needed to run up. He can't stay home. He got to run up because he gained some yards. But what should have happened, the safety should have came over, right? But see, somebody who played a game, they would have saw the whole picture. They would say, wait a minute, the safety should have rolled over, especially if they playing in the zone. You know, or even um, the quarterback even getting to that point where he's rolling out about the run. That means the defensive end didn't, didn't contain right. And that's my point about the sports, right? But it's the same thing in a game of man gets woman. There's a lot of little things that the uninitiated don't see happening. They don't see happening. Most they see is, oh, he looked like a certain thing. That might not have been it. Or even if they see a guy say another thing because a lot of guys act like they don't see this. I don't know why. But they don't know what's up. Like, uh, okay, like that height thing. Because one thing I've been paying attention to especially is when I see a guy who look like they under, uh, who look like they under 5'5 uh, five, five with a woman, with a, a woman in decent shape at least, right? I'll say in decent shape. And guys would be like, oh, he must have money. He must have this or that. Right? They thinking all this other stuff. But one, once again, you don't know the personality. Two, sometimes even on the surface, they miss it. Because when I've seen it, the guys at least had good body builds. Look like they hit the gym and stuff. But then we still don't see everything that's happening. That might just be her type. That's my point. Or we don't know what he did. You know, dude could have her on the ground laughing. 
That's my point. You got to be really, to know the game, you got to play it. Even if it's just on a little level. That's why I tell guys, you got to get out there. Like a lot of guys ask me, what I do here? What I do here? What I do here? Get your ass out there and play. That's the only way you're going to learn it. You know? A lot of guys don't approach women because they'll listen to somebody who don't know anything themselves and they're like scared, oh, the woman to do this. Well, actually, you don't know what that woman going to do till you say something to her. Man, there's been, I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to say this for myself personally. There's been times I would see a woman, they wouldn't smile at me at all. I remember back in college, there was a woman, she wouldn't hardly look at me. And she, she wouldn't smile, nothing. None of those choosing signals, right? But one day I just happened to say something to her and it was like a total change. She not only started talking to me, like almost right away, she started talking dirty to me. I was like, what the? I was like, Wow. And I'm thinking to myself, hey, she gave no indication she had any interest. But like I said, only way I would find out is if I say something. And that's happened a few times. That's happened more than once. Like women I would end up having sex with, that's like they show no, no indication. Zero, zero, zero indication. It'd be a situation I'm thinking, oh, she ain't interested until I say, fuck it, I'll say something anyway. And when? Actually... I've never had a situation where a woman didn't show interest. I said something and then she didn't respond. I've never had that. But that's a nuance in the game, too. Sometimes you got to talk. Okay, everybody got in an accident. What the heck? Uh-oh, the Barney Fife's are out. Yeah, they Barney Fife's where I live, yo. Seriously, it's kind of crime-free around here. That's why they Barney Fife's. Man, damn, somebody got messed up. Hey, they got messed up. Shoot. Got our Barney Fife's over here. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Yeah. yeah. I'm cool with the white cars wearing here because they be like, hey, what's up, sir? Hey. What's up, y'all? Yeah, just chilling like a villain up here. Yeah, all right. I remember one time they stopped one, stopped me for a ticket and stuff. He thanked me. He thanked me for being chilled about it. I was just like, yeah, whatever. I got the money. This is just y'all little tax. <laughs> <laughs> anyway though yeah you gotta get out there cause there's so many little things and so many people need that cause you got a bunch of guys up here they up here measuring skulls and everything I'm like man most of that shit is is a bait you still gotta say hi you still gotta talk to them you still gotta interact don't you think the woman just gonna go in the bedroom with you shit just cause you look a certain way the most they do is get her over there yeah, say something with a lisp to it or uh, sounding like you effeminate or something. And see how and, and see how quick a pussy dry up. <laughs> Seriously. There's a lot of little stuff. Or you act like you got socially awkward. No, trust me. <sighs> yeah. I stop over here, get my little thing. I always got to get something. But, yeah. To me, guys, they outside the game trying to tell people in the game... Or trying to tell people who don't know the game themselves what's up. And then want to argue with the people who actually know what the fuck they don't. Ain't that some shit? Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> anyway. Now somebody got this shit all open. Anyway, y'all. Anyway, y'all. That's it for now, y'all. Get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.